Hey everyone, Lens Minoz here, and welcome back to Trillionaire. Uh, so, last, well, the last time I played, which was a couple of days ago, um, the I was holding the wand thing, this thing, at night, and I found that there was a spot near the base, about this far, uh, if I just go to map overview. Uh, just down here in the trees, I sort of went for a run at night and was getting chased by all sorts of mobs, and you can see there's plenty on the map at the moment, and it's pretty sure it's daytime. Um, and I found a sparkling area just here, so I managed to uh, get a waypoint down. Creeper blew up here, you can see the nice little hole he left. Um, got a waypoint down and got back to base quick smart, because the the, um, the astral material is down at bedrock level. So I've dug a bit of a uh, mining tunnel uh, down at... Y11, so we can still collect some ores and stuff, and there's plenty of stuff down here. Uranium and... Uranium? Uranium and uranium. <laughs> and some boron, and, and, and obviously the regular ores as well, but uh, lots of stuff, and you can see there's a fair few bits and pieces in my inventory. Uh, but this is where the, the marker is, so I've dug down below here, and I did burn through a whole diamond hammer doing all this stuff as well, and on to my last one, so where diamonds are a little rare at the moment. I do need to do another mining run in the other mining dimension. But here's our rock crystal ore. I also found some draconium ore, which is interesting. Think I can mine this with this? Nice, look at that. Problem is, a lot of this I won't be able to pick up because they're single use. Eh, uh, granite can go. Is that all of them? Nope, still got one. Uh, yep, the slate can go. So, can't can't mine that with the uh, with the pick, but can mine it with the hammer. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Get ores when we can. Uh, Electrotine is down here too. So that's um, a little bit of the ore that we're going to need to continue on in astral sorcery. And I'll do some regular mining down here and my normal mining method. Boron and black quartz and you can see a hero witch a hero witch we're not super far away thorium ore so nuclear craft will be a power generation source in this pack and why am i jumping up here when i can just do slash home <laughs> it is not time let's sleep i don't like the uh don't like the mobs they're not fun so Lots of ores. I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to get into here. Nope, there's no thorium in there. It doesn't need a redstone torch in there. Let's put that in there. Nope, that's food. Uh, you can go in there. And all of these rock crystals. Let's dump anything I can place into here. None of that. So I've been dropping it into here at the moment. Or lead ore. Okay. I didn't realise we had the... I, I knew we had poor ores, but I didn't think I'd find any down there. Anyway, uh, so in between episodes I went and made a couple of things. Oh, I can't remember if I made the arcane stone and that. Um, I did catch the demonic will. Um, pretty much the first zombie I, I hit with a, a rudimentary stare. And these are regular recipe iron, redstone and string. And I got a demonic will. So there's a couple of things we need to look at. Let's open our book up. Wherever we are, we were in the magic tab, weren't we? Uh, so lots of things we would need to move on. So we need to get to the Starlight Crafting Altar before we can get into Britannia. And we also need to do blood magic before we can get into Britannia. Just to make things a touch easier. Uh, where were we moving along? No, I'm not going anywhere near that at the moment. Nope. Crucibles, no. So we do need to get a lot into Thorncraft. Um, and to make this guy, we're going to need this guy. Right. We've got one of them, don't we? Don't we have a Luminous Crafting Table? Didn't we make one? Oh no, this is made in the Luminous Crafting Table. Ignore me for a bit. Uh, so we will need to find a decent amount of starlight. We're also going to need liquid starlight bucket, which means we are going to require a light well. 
and the light well requires a few things as well one of these celestial crystals so we're going to need three runed marble two chiseled marble and two aqua marine let's grab my stuff where did i, where did I put my book oh it's in that other chest isn't it got marble some aqua marine we're going to need Take the smallest one. Astral. Some more marble. It is obviously we have different marbles here. We're gonna require now this chiseled. So let's grab all of these things. So I needed ruined marble. Let's go marble. That's this guy, which is three marble, because it's ruined. You're going to require did not make there it is. I was gonna say I'm gonna require a luminous crafting table. Also going to require not the engineer's manual, astral tome. There's a thing that allows us to this sick. This thing, the Fossic Resonator. Okay, so we need the liquid starlight bucket to do that. So that's fine. We're going to need to make one of these because this will give us the best location to place our uh, astral sorcery stuff. So let's work on getting this down somewhere. I've got my light overlay turned on. Let's turn that off. I would like to think that I can place this down somewhere out here. It's probably too much light around. Maybe that's enough. Probably not. Light well. It's daytime. And we got it. All right, so the light well will allow us to um, get aqua marine converted into uh, liquid starlight, but that will only happen at night. And I don't know what I'm looking for. I don't know. Oh, I was looking for food and I don't have any on me. Very handy of me, isn't it? Um, probably time to... Start making some more uh, more food. Okay, so we've got the, the, the light well, which we're going to require to move into the celestial altar, and we're going to need night time for that. So let's have a bit of a look around. What does the blood altar require? That's right. It was the arcane stone, a furnace, two gold, and the demonic will. So we caught a demonic will. We're going to need two gold, and I'm going to just... What have I got? Four blocks, very nice. Just doing a little bit of uh, ore doubling, so I have some materials. Um, coal coke, arcane stone, the will, the will, demonic will. Is that? I just need a furnace, right? Can we do, can we do andesite furnaces? Is that a thing? No. Darn it. <laughs> I don't tend to use those um, those blocks too much. Like andesite, uh, diorite, etc. It's not to my uh, regular thing. Blood magic. One blood altar. Nice. So there's another quest. We're going to get the sacrificial dagger and some more rudimentary snares. So the next form of magic we found in this world is similar to the one we found in others, blood magic. That ancient and terrible power is somehow more easily accessible here than in other worlds. You'll need a blood altar in order to start working with it, which requires arcane stone, which can be made from those V crystals you found underground. It also requires some solidified will, which you can get by killing something trapped in a snare. 
Make sure to look for red particles before killing it. Variably, it's something that doesn't think that is too much. Is much. Okay, so zombies. If this is all too confusing, check out JI, which should get you recipes for everything, which is generally what I do. Okay, so these are a few things. So steel is a is a blood altar 2000 LP with an iron, which is pretty impressive. Um, that's one way to get steel, and we're going to get 250 steel, but 2000 LP is going to take a while. Uh, a weak blood orb is 2000 and a diamond. Um, okay. I can't remember exactly how much this um, drops. We're going to need to set up areas for these two. So at the moment, the blood altar gets really, really large. I'm thinking we give it somewhere to sit. Uh, where is it? I made a dev null, by the way. Uh, from all the mining I was doing, a dev null seemed like a smart idea. Uh, again, this is going to be quite ugly for now. And I forget exactly how big these things get to. Come on. Yeah, that should give a decent amount of space. And I'll just dig it into the ground, I think. Maybe we go up a little bit more. Okay, so. Okay. I can't tell how much is in here. Doesn't need a torch on it. But it will take some of our life. Oof, it's been ages since I did blood magic. So long. Heal up, my friend. going to require a lot of food and food is not in abundance at the moment sometimes you can have um, the thing in the top right there telling you how much LP you've got hmm there's only horses around here oh there's some sheep over there uh, we will need to get to a ritual that can allow us um, Better. I think I'm going to need a lot more than this, though. You've got to be nearby the blood magic, uh, the blood altar. Food is a thing. I don't know if, can we make sandwiches in this paint? Yes. I don't know, they're normal ones. We don't have the sandwich maker mod. That's a pretty nifty mod, actually. Okay. Fine. Not a lot here giving me uh, too much. Gonna need to go and harvest some wheat. Alright, it's night time. And we need the light well to work. Head on out. Get these guys. And that will start producing. Um, it will start producing the light, the liquid starlight. There's an Enderman, really? Come on, guys. Um. Skelly, why can't I just have a couple of zombies spawn nearby? I want to try and grab another will or two. But ranged attacks is not fun. Zombies should be better. Oh, while I wait. Just go and grab some food. 
other crops. Tree farm's going pretty well there. Alright. No, no real zombies. Just skellies. Alright, fine. Hi. I missed him. No. No, didn't 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 get the particles. He is gonna own me. No, 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 no. <laughs> Guess maybe it only works on zombies in this pack. Um, something that doesn't think too much was the words they used. Uh, let's put them away. Let's grab the potatoes out. And get myself some stuff to eat. Okay, good. Excellent. Marble can go back in there for the moment. Taking the lead nuggets for all I care. Actually, you... yeah. you're probably ready to dump another block out. 2,000 LP. Now, I do forget how much uh, blood you receive from each, each slice, so to speak. I think it's about 100. I'm going to need quite a lot. Dagger of Sacrifice. 3,000 LP. Sentient Sword is Hellfire Forge, which I don't have yet. Which is doable. Um, and then I just need the gem. Yeah, let's, let's look into this. Let's, let's see if we, we can do this. So, some stone, four stone, two iron, gold. The iron, need a gold. Need a block of iron. Should have some stone. I think I have some in here. Can I make Hellfire Forge? Thank you. And then, and then we need a, a will. The gem thing. And we're going to need a will to do this. So we're going to need some. Lapis, gold, redstone, glass. Lapis, gold, redstone, and... Do I not have some glass around? Yes. Hellfire Forge, for the moment... Probably just plop in the basement here, I don't... Okay, they'll stay in there, that's good. I will need another will though. Also need some food. And what is it? What is it red uh, string redstone and iron is it or something? The uh, snares. String redstone and iron, yes. Let's make another lot of snares. not many. I uh, probably need... Oh, do we have a whole bucket worth? Yep. Decent. Ah, here we go. He's a friend. Hi. Come on, give me the particles. How did I nail it on the first go? 
is, is it that bad of a drop that you know I didn't didn't get it that whole time? Goodness me. Um, okay, what was the first thing we needed the liquid starlight for? Making the luminous crafting table. So I need four pillars and two chiseled marbles and another one of those crystals. Four pillars. Two chiseled. Uh, what is chiseled marble? Chiseled. Okay, so I need four marble for that. One. Okay, and the altar. I think that was what, what am I going for? Um, altar. Do it properly. Hopefully that's enough. Nope, not enough. I missed the night time. Pretty sure that's what I needed. Tuned marble pillars, chiseled marble, liquid starlight bucket. And it was obviously not, normally it shows you like a, a line, but it doesn't want me to do that unless something is not quite right. Okay, I guess, I guess I can't do this here. Or do I need something under this altar? Didn't think the luminous crafting table required too much. Maybe I should do this thing first then. Aquamarine and, and gold. Find a good place for this to sit. It's got another bucket cooking up anyway. Uh, so the fossic. Just two normal marble. Can I that? And maybe I forget. Maybe this does need a platform underneath it. Probably does. We'll find out in a second. Uh, and I need to be at night for this to work, right? Of course. Let's have a real quick look. Is it in this one? No, let's go back out. There's the other bit over here. Discovery. Whee! You. No, see, it doesn't require anything. Table must be right clicked with a resonating wand. Okay. So I guess we'll need to find a good place for it. This is almost full. I'll get my bucket. Thank you. Are you a spider? Hello. Welcome. Can I snare you? I got two string. Need some more string. Uh, string. Can I get it from this? Yes. A little bit more iron. See if we can snag this guy. Snare. Because the snares obviously are the, are the, the worst way of capturing bills. Can I get you? Really? RNG is not in my favour today. Not in my favour. 
Okay, so we've got that all made me. That's still pretty decent. It's daytime. It's generating. Uh, we'll need to find a decent place uh, at night time to place this altar down, and we'll, we'll may as well move that to that spot um, once we find it. Uh, actually, let's go and get some more food going. This down here. I need that 2000 LP. Come on, heal up. Let's get things going. Not healing anywhere near what I thought I should be. Is that a chest? A mimic or something? Just a rando chest in the middle of nowhere. I did not place that down. I do not believe I placed that down. Why do I have a rando chest in the middle of nowhere? I'm confusion. I don't know. Tell me if I place that down because I don't remember doing it and why it would be in the midair. And just a random chest is, is odd. Nothing in it. I really don't know how much is in here. <laughs> I really want to know. Uh, once I get a blood orb, I'll be okay. I'll, I'll be able to see it. Should have probably kept a count of how much I put in. Because if I don't get it right and I put the the gem in, it's just going to waste waste the blood that's in there. At blood, because I do want to get this, and that'll help me get wills. Um, so I do need a will to be able to get. I need at least two, probably. Killing a mob with a sentient weapon or by throwing a snare at a mob and killing it while it has white particles. And I'm not getting the white particles. I really don't know how much I put in there. Come on, heal up. Just keep it going. <laughs> Back in a second. Ah, uh, the uh, the scam caller, such a, a great breed, aren't they? I think I might have enough in here. I hope I have enough in here. I just can't remember how much you get from a um, from a a use of the sacrificial dagger. Go for a walk. Look at that. Got heaps in there. Weak blood oil. Find it to myself. Will it show me what's in there? Okay, maybe not. Stores essence. I thought you could find out. If I right click this, it just takes life off me, right? I thought you could find out how much was in a table. Alright, so we have a weak blood orb. Hopefully that triggered yes it did okay we bought we made the hellfire forge already okay so the incense altar look this is okay blood magic for me i haven't really dabbled too much with um since this stuff came in so i don't know how much i can um, get into these things uh, and I'll have to do some research to be able to do it You know, you need to set up like the altar and the, and the tranquil area and all sorts of stuff uh, So sentient sword is what I'm after. I'm gonna need to get um, Some more wills, so I'm gonna need to do some uh, Will creation but That will be for another episode Blank slates are a thing I'm going to need. 1000 LP. Again, I'm pretty sure there's a way of 
finding out what's in here. Um, so I'm going to have to remember how to do things. I guess I can make the blood magic book and like actually learn. Glass feather book. Maybe I can do that. I don't know if I can do... If you stole my food. <laughs> That's still going. Oh gosh. Um, not the real use of this thing that I wanted to do, but... Goodness me. Three buckets of liquid starlight in there. I was going to use that to collect up some more lava for the smeltery. But I think, uh, judging by the time of what it was when I first when I just hit pause before, um, I need a feather and I need a book. I'm going to make the make the blood magic book. I'm pretty sure there was a chicken over here somewhere. You chicken. Need your feather. Uh, so yeah, I'll make this blood magic book. I'll do a bit of reading, a bit of research, because as I said, it's been a long time since I did blood magic, as I don't tend to do um, magic-based mods. It's not, not my normal thing. So this will be a learning experience for me. And um, hopefully you guys don't don't laugh too much at me about it. So lots of stuff in here for me to, to find out. Blood altar, dagger of sacrifice. The most useful. This redstone blank slate. See the LP in the base. That's the one I need to make. The divination sigil. So that would be one of these. That guy. I've got to make some arcane ashes so i'm gonna need some more wills so tasks for me in between get some more wills from the mobs around um pretty sure i don't know if it works on passives i think it works on only works on the the nastier ones don't do that um but yeah i'll i'll get some of that going and next episode we'll play a little bit more with probably both of these magic mods i'd like to get a little bit more into blood magic and a little bit more into uh, astral sorcery so thank you all for watching comments down below hope you enjoyed the episode and i will see you next time bye now